His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa met Arabia Palace today with the President of the Senate of Jordan, Faisal Al Fayez, and his delegation as he delivered to His Majesty a written letter from the Jordanian monarch, Abdullah II, regarding the brotherly historic relations between the two countries and means to enhance them in addition to recent regional and international developments. His Majesty asked a Jordanian official to convey his greetings to the Jordanian monarch and his best wishes of further progress to Jordan. He hailed Jordan's huge developments on different levels thanks to the constant support of the Jordanian monarch and expressed pride for the historic brotherly consolidated ties between both countries which aim to achieve the best interests of their people. His Majesty affirmed the importance of such brotherly visits which contribute in enhancing bilateral cooperation in the legislative and parliamentary fields as well as to unify stances regarding regional and international issues. He said that the world is witnessing rapid changes which require enhancing cooperation in order to achieve the targeted goals. His Majesty the King hailed Jordan's legislative and parliamentary numerous achievements and lauded Jordan's honorable stances led by the Jordanian monarch towards the kingdom as well as its role in serving Arab and Islamic causes and its role in maintaining regional and global security, stability and peace. His Majesty then reviewed with the Jordanian delegation the latest regional international issues. For his part, the President of the Senate of Jordan highlighted Bahrain's development in various fields under the leadership of His Majesty the King and thanked His Majesty for his keenness to enhance relations between the two countries, particularly in the legislative and parliamentary fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today the International Federation for Training and Development Organization Outstanding Leader Award 2016 as the first international leader personality to win such an award. The award was presented to His Royal Highness as he met Al Dhabi Palace today, IFTDO CEO Nasr al Nafisi and the organization's Secretary General Dr. Udesh Kohli. The award was granted to the Prime Minister due to his tremendous efforts in achieving development and maximizing human resources performance nationally and internationally, in addition to his contributions and support to human resources development initiatives, as well as for becoming a model for elevating the performance of human resources as a strategic pillar for the nation's progress. The Prime Minister thanked IFTDO for granting him the award saying it affirms the international organization's appreciation for the successes achieved by the kingdom in human development, thanks to the leadership of His Majesty the King and the contributions of the people. He commended Bahaini workers in different labor and production sites, saying that they are a source of pride as they played a great role in establishing a strong economic and developmental foundation in all fields. He pointed out that all human development programs in Bahrain are parallel with economic and social development programs which are part of a comprehensive developmental system that qualified Bahrain to lead human development reports for many consecutive years. He added that Bahrain's vision focused on polishing the skills of its citizens, providing them with the best educational, health, scientific and cultural services, in addition to improving their living standards so as to empower the people and enhance their contributions the development process. The Prime Minister welcomed holding the IFTDO conference in Bahrain, which is a great opportunity to exchange views on ways of enhancing human resources, wishing the conference and its organizers success in achieving the desired goals. For its part, IFTDO's Secretary General expressed honor for granting the Prime Minister with the award, 
which was approved by the board, which includes representatives from 60 countries and thousands of international members. He said that granting the Prime Minister with the award is an appreciation of his efforts in leading the sustainable development process in Bahrain and his success in reinforcing human element development indicators, which contributed in reaching a high position in international human development reports. IFTDO's Treasurer Bob Morton said that His Royal Highness's name was chosen from many leaders who were nominated for the award, saying that the jury agreed to choose the Prime Minister for his outstanding role in Bahrain citizens' development. Yeah. Your, Your Royal Highness, um, the International Federation of Training and Development Organisations hereby confers on you His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Bahrain, the 2016 International Leadership Award in recognition of his pioneering leadership and unrelenting passion for development and maximising human capital performance locally and internationally in grateful acknowledgement of his local and international contribution to the human resources initiatives which have earned him various international credited awards of recognition for advancing the cause of people development through his influence as a leading example and role model in elevating human resource management into a major strategic function in the industry for which the IFTADO board has awarded him a special medal of achievement. And this is signed by Professor Udesh Kohli, our Secretary General, and by Bob Morton, the Chair of the Scientific Committee. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I think you for FTD board, in fact, is honored to confer the International Leadership Award on His Royal Highness, uh, and it was very gracious of him to accept. The board feels uh, very happy and honored and proud, and coming to this country, which has great name in training and uh, investment in the people, in the human capital here, I think is an example for the world. A great honor and a privilege to meet with the Prime Minister of this wonderful country, small but mighty. Um, the few days we've had here, it's been clear that um, this is a very citizen-focused country, and made, we had a lot of hospitality. 
People have been very nice to us. And it's very calm also. It has given it some calming effect on me. I think it's also shown that um, there's a lot of emphasis on managing people and recognizing that people are central to sustainable development. I will be presenting uh, a speech on women's empowerment and leadership. And one of the things I'll be highlighting is how Princess Sabika especially has pioneered women's leadership and development. And really Bahrain is leading the way in the Gulf for developing women's uh, talent and developing women's opportunities. And I think it's testimony to His Excellency to, to support this um, long view perspective of women's leadership and uh, it is it is not uh, an end it is very much an intellectual journey that we all share and we on the board are particularly honored and privileged to have awarded to the prime minister uh, his royal highness the first uh, award for outstanding leadership uh, and uh, as our current chairman, Nasser Nafisi, has said, uh, by making the award to your prime minister, the bar has been set very high for any future people to be considered for that award. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received the Aghdabiya Palace today, the Hliya University Board, led by President Farooq Al Mu'ayyad and founder Dr. Abdullah Al Hawaj who thanked the Prime Minister for laying the foundation stone of the new campus of the university. The Prime Minister said education is the cornerstone of society, stressing that nation's civilizations develop and prosper by its contribution to serving humanity with science and culture. He confirmed Bahrain's interest in education and empowering the people with knowledge and science due to its realization of its capabilities in contributing to the development process. He asserted the government's support to investment in education through a comprehensive strategy that aims to create the encouraging environment and facilitate procedures for private sector educational institutes. The Prime Minister commended the academic level of higher education in Bahrain and academic institutions' keenness to meet the demands of ensuring quality of education, which attracted more students from the region. He congratulated Al Ahliya University officials on the new campus and the university's outstanding academic quality and indicators, wishing them success. For his part, Al Hawaj thanked the Prime Minister for his constant care to the national education process, which turned Bahrain into an educational and scientific center in the region. He also said laying the foundation stone by His Royal Highness is an important event in the history of the university, which encourages it to continue its efforts to provide the best educational services that meet the demands of the leadership and building an advanced society.
كل ابناء الاهليه طال عمرك كلهم يتمنون ويتشرفون ب لقائك يا طويل العمر ويعتبرون ان كل ما حصل في هالبلد من تقدم ونما بتوجيهاتكم طويل العمر ولذلك هم مسرورين جدا وسعيدين بتشريفكم لنا في حفل وضع حجر الاساس لاننا نحن مؤمنين تام بان يدك الكريمه ويديك الكريمتين فيها خير كثير لنا وللبحرين ان شاء الله يا خليفه يا نظر كل عين بحريني ملك روحا شريفة يا رجل متفرد بحبه مثل ما الشمس بالتنوير يا إنسان ما يوقف عن التطوير والتعمير يا زارع أفكارك وأرشادك وأخلاصك لكل شعبك وما تبغي من الدنيا سوى البحرين تتحول مدى الأيام ديرة من أعاصير الهموم اللي تحيط بها نظيفة يا خليفة أيادي مجدها أفعال سباقة ورفعة شان ما توطي مباديها يا بويا الطيب عانق وجهك شراقة مع الآمال كل لحظة تجاريها نعم يا فخر يسمو بين براقة سما والأرض تقصد للي بانيها وتنبت حب مكتوب على اوراقه خليفتنا وجودك عذ براويها سلامة مقدمك لعيون مشتاقة تحيك الشوف لجلك وانت غاليها His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Ulaybiya Palace today the U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain, William Roebuck. The Crown Prince highlighted the growth of strategic cooperation between the two countries, which reflects the two countries' interest to enhance joint cooperation and coordination and serve mutual interests. He highlighted Bahrain's constant keenness to develop bilateral relations in the economic and commercial sector in addition to reinforcing security cooperation so as to consolidate regional stability and support international efforts in facing terrorism threats and organizations. The meeting also reviewed Bahraini-U.S. relations and regional issues. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, issued a statement on the occasion of the UAE's Mother of the Nation Festival in its first session, organized by Abu Dhabi Tourism and Cultural Authority, which aims to shed light on Her Highness's Sheikha Fatma bint Mubarak's vision of enhancing family cohesion and spreading the notion of tolerance within the Emirati society. Princess Sabika hailed the importance of the festival as it highlights the Emirati women's remarkable contribution in the development of their nation. She hailed the remarkable support of the Chairwoman of the General Women's Union, the Supreme Chairperson of Family Development Foundation, and President of the Supreme Council for Motherhood and Childhood in supporting women-oriented issues on both national and Arab levels, aiming at boosting women's status in various fields. Her Royal Highness hailed Sheikh Fatima's initiatives of supporting Emirati women on all levels. She praised the numerous achievements made by Emirati women in various fields which resulted in achieving a civilized and united society. 
Her Royal Highness hailed the huge sacrifices made by Emirati women and called on the importance of building on their achievements so as to achieve progress under UAE's leadership. Deputized by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Deputy Premier Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa opened yesterday the 45th International Federation for Training and Development Organization Conference hosted this year by Bahrain. More with Danielle Deporto. Lessons from Leaders is the theme of this year's International Federation for Training and Development Organizations, IFTDO, World Conference and Exhibition, organized by the Bahrain Society for Training and Development in partnership with the IFTDO, Tamkeen and Saudi Aramco. Bahrain is hosting the procedures event for the second time, following a successful showing in 2002, affirming the Kingdom's competency at coordinating and hosting large-scale international gatherings. Around 20 distinguished speakers are participating, with hundreds of visitors from dozens of countries expected to attend, including a delegation of 55 graduate students from the University of Manchester. Now on its second day, the three-day conference and exhibition comprises presentations, workshops, panel discussions and networking opportunities, all geared towards the optimization of human resource development. We see many organizations struggle. Uh, on the other hand, we see uh, many organizations flourish and do better. So what's, what's, what's the difference? Why in the same uh, situation you see some winning and some losing? So there are, there are some lessons to be learned and we want to pass this lesson internationally locally to Bahrain. This 45th edition of the IFTDO World Conference and Exhibition is paying particular attention to the youth labour market and the professional empowerment of women, two areas of specific importance to Bahrain's demographic makeup and economic strategy. Not only is there plenty to be learned, Bahrain's leaders have wisdom to share with the rest of the world based on local experiences. The young generation, they have a lot of expectations. Expectations of engagement, they have a, uh, you know, high aspirations, and also they need to have a purpose. And I think a lot of these sessions will discuss their anticipation, purpose, where we're going, how do we really uh, uh, offer th them the opportunity and the platform and the bridges. The mission for all in attendance is large-scale transference of knowledge, skills, processes and technologies to cement the latest in HR global best practices. The ultimate goal is individual job satisfaction that aggregates to sustainable economic prosperity on company, national and global scales. There's always an end to the cycle and when that comes you will have to, your people have to be ready to take things to that next level and if they're not it's on you. I mean they will you will lose the good ones because they will feel like you haven't invested in them and the people you have will not be necessarily prepared to, for whatever the next cycle in the economy is going to be. So I would say it's always a cornerstone of any important strategy and foundation of any organization to continue human resource development regardless of the macroeconomic factors going on. Bahrain's greatest economic resource is the men and women who make up its workforce, and thus the Kingdom's hosting of such a prestigious international event for human resource development bodes very well for the Kingdom's long-term prosperity. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto. This speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, chaired the weekly meeting today. The Council discussed a report by the Parliamentary Inquiry Commission regarding the case of rotten meat, where the Council approved the 27 recommendations submitted to the government. The Council also reviewed a report on amending some law provisions on anti-unemployment insurance and referred to the report to the Shura Council. Representative Council Speaker sent a cable of congratulations to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on occasion of being granted the Outstanding Leader Award for 2016 by the International Federation for Training and Development Organization. And Mullah affirmed the award comes in appreciation of the Prime Minister's efforts in leading the development process of Bahrain which reinforced human element development indicators. He wished him good health to serve the development and prosper rather prosperity of the kingdom. The Shura Council Speaker Ali Saleh sent a cable of congratulations to the Prime Minister on the occasion of being granted the Outstanding Leader Award for 2016 by the International Federation for Training and Development Organization. He said granting the award to the Prime Minister reflects the appreciation of international organizations to his pioneering efforts in the field of human development, wishing him continued success in achieving the aspirations of the homeland and its people. Interior Minister Lt. Gen. Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa received the President of the Senate of Jordan and his delegation. 
The minister commended the deep brotherly and strategic ties between the two countries that have been reinforced during the leadership of the two monarchs. The Jordanian official asserted the support of Jordanian House of Senates, hailing Bahrain's democratic achievements and reform project. The meeting reviewed bilateral ties and cooperation. Foreign Minister Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa received a phone call from Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov following up on implementing what was agreed upon after His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa met with the Russian President Vladimir Putin. The call involved highlighting bilateral ties and ways to bolster cooperation and coordination and maintaining regional international security and stability. And finally, Arab Poetry Day celebrations continue today in a second session organized by Arab Organization for Education, Culture and Science in cooperation with the Arab Regional Center for World Heritage and Sheikh Ibrahim bin Mohammed Al Khalifa Center for Culture and Research. The President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, pointed out the importance of celebrating Arab Poetry Day as it's considered an important part of the Arab cultural identity. Director General of Alexo, Dr. Abdullah Hamad Muharab, expressed appreciation to His Majesty the King and to the Kingdom of Bahrain for his hosting of and supporting of Arab Poetry Day. <laughs> 